Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, entrepreneurs um, and the Big Green participants from Kenya, from Nigeria, from Senegal, from South Africa. You're welcome to our training information Good session. Good afternoon, entrepreneurs. Uh, So sorry. So you're welcome to yet another training information session. And um, we apologize for the long delay um, in kickstarting kick the Be Green um, training, the second phase of the green training. And um, here is just an information session to take you through what is required of you to start this training, what the expectations are, the criteria, the overview of the program itself and just run you through everything you need to know to help you take this training seamlessly and without stress. So as we kick start, I would hand over to Mr. Joshua Okore um, to give us the welcome message and then we'll continue the rest of the session. Again, you're welcome and um, we look forward to having an amazing session with you today. Thank you, over to you, Mr. Joshua. Thank you very much, Ibuku. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, from South Africa, Kenya, Nigeria, and Senegal. We are excited again to commence this second stage training program after a little delay. We commend your dedication and diligence towards this program. As you are aware, this program is designed with the future in mind to recreate a new you know, continent, a continent that is futuristic, that have entrepreneurs who want to change the environment and make the environment more livable. So I welcome you to this first of several information sessions that will be coming up. And there'll be a lot of things you will get to know from now till the end of the program. I encourage you to the end of the session today, I encourage you to be diligent in what you're doing Pay close attention to the information we'll be receiving today. Um, we'll be moving at a very fast pace after today. So it will be important that you pay close attention to the information we'll be sharing. Once again, I commend your spirit and your commitment to finish this program and receive the seed grant to transform your idea into a profitable venture. You're welcome, and I celebrate you, new set of entrepreneurs in the African continent. You're welcome. Thank you. Over to you, Ibuko. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Joshua. So next on the agenda is introduction. So we will be introducing ourselves so you, find, you can familiarize yourself with the Big Green team, the Green African team. So I will start with introducing myself. So my name is Ibuko Duri Day. I'm the Entrepreneurship Program Manager, and I work with the Tony Limini Foundation. And now I'll hand over to my colleague, Sandra, to introduce herself, and then she'll hand over to the rest of the team. Again, you're welcome, and thank you for joining the session. Over to you, Sandra. Uh, good afternoon. I hope you can hear me. Um, my name is Sandra Simbiri. I am with uh, UNICEF, um, excited to be here um, and connecting with all of you after a while. I'll hand over to my colleague, Manuela. Thank you so much, Sandra. Hello and a warm welcome also from my side. Uh, my name is Manuela Radisbeck. I'm with UNICEF as well, based in New York. I'm really excited to support you on this entrepreneurial journey. Handing over to Jimmy Um, hi, everyone, and um, thank you for joining. My name is Chimese. I'm the program officer here at the Tony Lumini Foundation.
Okay, thank you, um, Chianese. And next, we would hand over to Foco. So, Foco, you introduce yourself and please take the translations for the welcome message and introduction so we can carry our French speaking entrepreneurs along. Thank you. Over to you, Foco. Thank you, Ibukum. Bonjour, tout le monde, et bienvenue à une autre session d'information de ce programme Big Green Africa. Donc, on s'excuse déjà pour ce petit délai qu'il y a eu entre temps. Vous êtes encore la bienvenue à ce programme et nous vous souhaitons de bien pouvoir suivre ce programme. Je suis Roland Foucault, votre facilitateur francophone. Donc, on remercie tous nos participants, surtout depuis le Sénégal qui sont francophones. On en a aussi de l'Afrique du Sud, du Kenya et du Nigeria. Donc, pour aujourd'hui, on vous attient, on, vous, on va vous entretenir sur comment procéder à l'envoi des business plans et des plans financiers. Et une fois de plus, je suis au Corée, vous a souhaité la bienvenue et on vous souhaite beaucoup de bonnes choses en tant qu'entrepreneur en série ici en Afrique. Merci. Au revoir, Thierry. Merci beaucoup. Merci, Foucault. Merci. So next on the agenda is a brief overview of the Big Green Program. And now I'll hand over to my colleague, Manuela, who will take us through the overview of the Big Green Program, the initiative and the objectives, just the overall overview, so we have an understanding. Um, so over to you, Manuela, thank you. Thank you so much, Ibukun. Yes, um, if we can go to the next slide, please, for the overview. Our Exactly. Thank you so much. So we think it's really important to give a quick overview on the journey so far and also what are the next steps, where we're going to, and we're really excited um, Yeah, about the next steps coming up. So as you can see in the first block here, the application drive took place last year. Um, and now in this next step, um, we have commenced um, that training phase of the Big Green Africa program. The business management training took place. And now we are actually commencing the green entrepreneurship training um, tomorrow. So yeah, please um, keep an eye out on, on that. I'm really excited about that. And um, those who have not completed the business man management training have um, also the opportunity to complete it together with the green entrepreneurship training by 19th of May. That's very important to note that we have four weeks now to complete um, the training phase. At the same time, we invite you to submit um, green business plans and those will need to be submitted by 24th of May. Now, then we will move into the business plan review and pitching phase depicted here in gray. So you will receive feedback on your business plans in June, July, and then there will be in-person or hybrid pitching events in Kenya, South Africa, and Senegal in the months of July, and the detailed dates will be communicated. In Nigeria, there will be no in-person pitching events, but we will invite you to share pitching videos. After that phase, we will go into the seed capital this Disbursement phase depicted here in yellow in August, September. So then the seed funds will be dispersed. And after that, there will be an ongoing mentorship and incubation phase starting um, yeah, in autumn this year going on um, 2024 and then with acceleration going into 2025. So it's also important to know that the program will not end with seed disbursement, but we are here to really yeah, provide ongoing um, incubation support and services. Yeah, with that, handing um, over to Sandra for an overview of that training piece. So the second piece here uh, on the Big Green training. Sandra, over to you. Thank you. Um, maybe I will ask Foco for the translation before I take over. Oh, Foco, yes. please. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sandra. Don, à l'heure du jour aujourd'hui, nous allons vous donner un aperçu de tout ce programme Big Green Africa. Au début déjà, on a commencé par la soumission des candidatures, c'était entre août et novembre 2023. Et puis à la suite, on a procédé aux différentes formations sur le business plan pour lequel vous avez jusqu'au 19 mai pour soumettre vos business plans. Et aussi, vous devez totalement travailler au point où d'ici le 24 mai, tout doit être OK à votre niveau. En troisième position, on va vous donner les feedback entre de novembre à mai 2024, c'est-à-dire aujourd'hui. On va vous faire des, des feedbacks sur vos... Pardon, attendez. OK, non. Pendant le mois de juin, juillet 2024, on va vous faire des feedbacks sur vos business plans que vous aurez envoyés dans les différents pays, Kenya, Afrique du Sud, Sénégal, 
Et il y aura aussi des petites vidéos qu'on va faire au Nigeria. À la suite de la revue de vos business plans et des présentations vidéo, vous aurez aussi la phase de financement. On va vous envoyer les capitaux d'amorçage. À la suite des capitaux d'amorçage, on va procéder au mentoring et à l'incubation de vos différents projets. Et pour finir, en 2025, ça sera l'accélération. Donc, merci. Au revoir, Tuyo. Sandra. Thank you very much, Foko. I hope you can hear me. Um, I know we are sharing a lot of information for everybody. Um, so if you have any questions, please um, type them in the chat. We'll respond to them, if not during this session, um, in an email that will have um, answers to a lot of what you're asking. I believe the next slide is going to be um, the overview of the masterclass and information uh, session calendar, the masterclasses and information session calendar. So as Manuela has mentioned, one, we are going into different stages. There's the, the business plan development and the seed capital. And we're here to ensure to provide the support that you need for this next stage. So this is the first information se session that we're having that's going to give you an overview of the next steps. Um, on April 23rd, we will have a session on the business planning. April 23rd, a session on business planning. Uh, I always remind you to come with a pen and a paper so you can mark the dates, or if you're able to, you can uh, take screenshots. So April 23rd will be the business planning. Then we go into financial planning on uh, April 25th. And then we'll go back to what we've been calling the learning sessions, where we share information and experiences for entrepreneurs within the waste sector, the green economy. So even as you develop your business plan, you're hearing from people in the industry, their experiences, their lessons, so that you're really able to strengthen your proposal. Then we'll have, again, another information session on May 9th, and then on the 14th, we'll have a business planning session. And May 16th, another fin financial planning session. So even as I read out this information, have your questions lined up. Once you receive the templates, come ready with questions to support. Um, May 19th is a big date. That will be the deadline for everybody to complete the module that begins this evening, the second phase of the green modules. And then on May 23rd, we'll have our final information session. So we'll continue having every week opportunity for you to come online, ask your questions, support in the financial planning, the business planning, as well as hearing from experts within the sector. Finally, on May 24th, mark your calendars, May 24th. That is the final day to submit your business plan, and their financials. What did I say? May 24th. So this will be the business plan and your financials to support your business plan. And this is particularly important for Kenya, Senegal, South Africa. Nigeria, remember, as Manuela mentioned, there will be no physical pitching. You will be required to send a two to three minute video. And this could be an elevator pitch. And there's information on this in the training. Uh, I'll hand over to Foco for the translation for our francophone colleagues. Over to you, Foco. OK, thank you, Sandra. Donc, je vais partager avec vous quelques éléments du calendrier pour la suite. On va retenir globalement que le 18 avril, c'est aujourd'hui, il y a cette session d'information. Le 23 avril, on aura une session d'information sur le business plan. Le 25, on aura une session d'information sur comment faire votre plan financier, vos projections financières. Ensuite, on aura une autre session de partage d'expérience avec des entrepreneurs qui interviennent dans le domaine de l'environnement et business vert. Et le 9 mai, ça c'est le 2 mai, le 9 mai, on aura une autre session d'information le 14 mai, on aura une autre session d'information sur 
de, de comment rédiger un business plan. Et le 16 mai, une deuxième session d'information sur comment faire vos plans financiers. N'oubliez pas que le, la, le délai pour soumettre les projets, c'est le 19 mai pour le Kenya, le Sénégal, l'Afrique du Sud et le Nigeria. Et enfin, et aussi le 23 mai, on aura une autre session d'information. Et enfin, le 24 mai, ça sera le dernier jour pour soumettre vraiment vos business plans et les plans financiers dans tous les pays. Et elle a précisé qu'au Nigeria, on ne fera pas de session physique. Ça sera uniquement des sessions de présentation en ligne de 2 à 3 minutes et que pour cela, il y aura aussi des orientations. Donc, les heures, je pense que là, c'est pratiquement 16 heures, heures d'Afrique centrale. Les différentes heures sont indiquées en fonction des zones des zones de chaque pays. Merci. Au revoir, Sandra. Ah, uh, thank you, Foko. Um... I'll go back to give an overview. Now that we have the dates, I can also now just give the training overview and what you need to know. So I'm going to go over the training overview and what you need to know. So the first thing to know, one, is that we've segmented the training into two parts. There was the business management training, which most of you have completed, and we are going into the green entrepreneurship training. So the first half was the green Sorry, the first half was the business management training. And the second half that we're launching this evening is the green entrepreneurship training. This is the second and the final part of the online training. And it's really designed to help you know how to set up and grow a viable environmentally and socially inclusive business. With a focus especially on the green and the waste sector. Um, remember, the criteria is that we're targeting young people and businesses between 18 to 35 years. So those who manage to finish the business management training and meet all, all the criteria are going to be eligible to participate in the second and the final training, which is the green entrepreneurship training. So those who do not complete the first part, which was the business management, business management training, are required to redo do it and complete it. Before that, if you have not completed or if you did not start, you are required to complete that and then read entrepreneurship training. So Manuela gave us a timeline. So it's very important for you to be able to proceed to the next stage, which is the business planning. You must complete the business management and the green entrepreneurship training. So you must complete both modules successfully before you can proceed to the next stage. Over to you, Foco. Oui, nous apportons quelques précisions que vous avez eu à suivre la formation en gestion d'affaires, la formation générale en gestion d'affaires. Et pour ceux qui n'ont pas encore suivi, on vous prie de le faire avant le 19 mai. L'autre formation que vous avez eu à suivre, ou bien que vous allez suivre aussi, c'est la formation sur la gestion d'affaires en termes de business, la gestion d'affaires vert. Donc, sur le business écologique. Vous allez aussi suivre cette formation-là et le délai aussi pour pouvoir le suivre et le finir, c'est le 19 mai, toujours. Et bien évidemment, avant le 24 mai, vous devez soumettre vos business plans. Au revoir, tu es Sandra. Ah, thank you, Foko. I'll hand over to Ibukun for information on the business plan, the template, as well as the pitching competition. Book and over to you. All right. Thank you very much. Um, and sincere apologies um, for the delay with showing the slides. We're having a slight glitch here because I know entrepreneurs would love to do screenshots. So we're still going to leave a lot of these slides so that you're able to see them again when we're doing the overview. Myself and Sandra and would give you the opportunity to take your screenshot. 
So again, my sincere apologies um, for the glitch. So uh, moving next to business plan and financial submission. I know Manuela and um, Sandra had mentioned that you're going to provide a business plan whilst you're taking the training. Again, the training has a lot of insights on how to develop a business plan, a cohesive business plan, and how to um, um, handle or write your financial projections. So even though you have a business idea, you have an existing business, the training will give you the right skill sets and the right knowledge to go about this. So um, we're going to give you a template, and that template has the business plan and financials. So what we need you to do is, you know, download the link. Again, the link will be embedded in the email communication, the start of training email communication you're going to receive um, later today. Please ensure to check um, your emails, check your spam or promotionals for the email communication that will be sent to you so you don't miss out on that. Once you're able to see the email, click on the financial templates and business plan link. You will find two documents there. Um, and I think um, we would show that much later before we end the session. We'll show you what the templates look like so you have an idea. So all you need to do is download and save. Once you download and save, you can save in any of your personal documents on your laptop, on your phone, and then you can use that to start developing your business plan. So the idea is we want you to start the training, most especially for um, participants who did not complete the previous business management training and did not start at all. This is another opportunity for you. Please, um, you know, take the training, the business management training, start that training, ensure to complete it and then start your green training, very important. And for those who completed the business management training, this is an opportunity for you to show your skill set, get the right learning, and then um, start the green training, ensure to complete it. The learnings you get from this training, we now need you to use that. And, you know, we need you to use that to develop your business plan. So all the learnings, the, the skill sets, the knowledge you have gained, even from the master classes that you're going to be um, um, attending or joining virtually, you would use all of those learnings and it would help you develop a cohesive business plan and financial projection. And then you have been informed again that you're meant to submit that business plan on the 24th of May. There will be no extension. So please start the process now. Ensure to complete and submit before the deadline. Very important. Again, to emphasize, for Kenya, we're going to be focused on waste management. So your business plan must and financial projection must be in the waste management um, sector. For Nigeria, Senegal, and South Africa, please focus on green economy. Very important. So it could be you know recycling, it could be waste management, it could be land transportation. All the subsectors within the green economy space, you're allowed to develop a business plan in that sector. Again, reiterating the, the deadline, it's 24th of May, and then training is 19th of May. So it's just one week apart. Very, very important. So all entrepreneurs aspiring that complete the green business plan and financial training, um, that um, complete the business management training, the green training will now be allowed to submit a business plan for review by our consultant. So please, again, you don't want to miss out on this opportunity. You want to take advantage of it and ensure that you're able to meet all the timelines and able to submit your business plan as well. So it's very important. Again, all of these slides, we would um, go through it again so that you're able to take screenshots and you know note the important dates that um, is needed so that you don't miss out on anyone. So now I'll hand over to Foco to do the translations and then we'll move to the next line on the agenda. Thank you. Over to you, Foco. Thank you, Ibukun. Dans les prochaines étapes, c'est vous informer sur comment va se passer le business plan et la soumission des plans financiers que vous allez faire. Donc, notez que tout ça va vous envoyer, va vous être envoyé par email. Donc, vous pouvez de regarder vos emails, de regarder les spams ou bien les mails indésirables. Parce qu'on peut vous envoyer une communication et puis ça passe dans cette partie de votre boîte email. L'autre chose importante, c'est qu'on va vous donner des canevas, que ce soit pour le business plan ou le canevas des projections financières. Et on va aussi vous faire des formations dessus dans les dates qu'on vous a communiquées tout à l'heure. 
Donc, on signale aussi qu'il est important pour vous de pouvoir suivre toutes les masterclass qu'on va faire avec vous afin de pouvoir mieux vous exprimer. Donc, notez aussi qu'il n'y a que les participants qui vont faire les différentes formations qui vont pouvoir avoir accès à la soumission de leur business plan. Donc, vous devez faire les, les, les différentes formations qu'on vous a données, que ce soit la formation en gestion d'affaires générales ou bien la formation en gestion d'entreprise verte. Donc, on signale aussi que pour ceux qui sont au Kenya, leur business plan sera uniquement sur la gestion des déchets. Et pour ceux qui sont au Nigeria, Sénégal et en Afrique du Sud, on va admettre que leur projet soit sur les entreprises vertes ou écologiques en général. Retenez donc, on vous l'a dit suffisamment, les délais, c'est le 29 mai pour la soumission de vos business plans et vos plans financiers et qu'on va vous envoyer un lien où vous pourrez avoir tous ces canevas afin de pouvoir travailler. Donc voilà globalement ce qu'on pouvait échanger avec vous sur ce point-ci. Merci. Au revoir toujours. Thank you very much, Foucault. Thank you for the translation. So we're going to move next to pitching competition. Again, this is, um, we're, we're sharing this so that you have an idea of what the expectations are, what the requirements are, what you need to know about the training, the dates, the information, the activities, so that we're carrying you along and you can, you, you are aware of everything that is required of you. Next slide, please. So we're moving to pitching competition. Again, the pitching competition is um, it's going to be in person for some specific countries and I'll list out the countries. So it's going to be for Kenya, South Africa, and Senegal. We're going to have physical pitching competition in these countries. And for Nigeria, you are going to um, provide us with a two to three minute video, um, video pitch um, around your business. And we're going to give you guidelines to do that. So again, you have developed a business plan. You have submitted your business plan. You have submitted your business plan. We need you to now do a two to three minute video of the plan, telling us how you want to, the problem you have identified, how you want to solve that problem, who your target audience is, you know, telling us how you want to build your team, your financial projections, etc. We will give you a very detailed guideline on what you need to do, how you need to do it. Very, very important. And again, before um, the pitching competition, which is going to happen in June, but we don't have specific dates yet, we will share with you all the information what you need to know, what is required of you, next step, we will send all of that to you and we will ensure to carry you along and give you all the information at the right time and as that when you do. So just so you're aware of this, very important. Again, entrepreneurs or participants from Senegal, South Africa, and Nigeria, and sorry, Senegal, South Africa, and Kenya will have physical pitching in your countries. We would organize physical pitching. Nigeria, it will be um, you providing us with a two to three minute video pitch. Again, guidelines will be sent to you to do this. Again, for Kenya, Senegal, and South Africa, we will send you the dates for pitching, all the information you need to know, logistics, ETC, everything will be sent to you. So I'll hand over to Foco now um, to translate, and then I would um, um, move over to the next line on the agenda. Thank you. Ok, pour ce qui est de la compétition de présentation vidéo, vous devez savoir qu'elle va se passer en physique au Kenya, en Afrique du Sud et au Sénégal. Donc, dans ces trois pays-là, il y aura une compétition physique et vous aurez toutes les informations concernant ces sessions, que ce soit les invitations, les lieux. Donc, vous serez informé et les candidats qui ne seront pas retenus pour faire les pitchs ou les présentations physiques, vont être notifiés en juin ou en juin, en juin ou en juillet 2024. Comme ça, ils sauront se préparer. Donc, au Nigeria, il est signalé que pour cette QV, au Nigeria, on va juste la demander deux à trois minutes de vidéo à soumettre avant le 24 mai. Donc, pour nous reprendre, au Kenya, au Sénégal et en Afrique du Sud, la compétition de présentation se fera en physique et vous aurez toutes les informations nécessaires. Merci. Au revoir. Thank you. Thank you. 
Um, thank you very much, Foko. Thank you. So now we're going to hand over to our colleague, Benjamin Ukumpo, who is the M&E manager um, for the Tony Millie Foundation. Please over to you, Benjamin. He's going to take us through physical verification, exercise that will happen much later, and he will give you all the information, what is required, the timelines, um, and every information you need to know and what is expected of you. Over to you, Benjamin. Thank you. Thank you, Bukum. And guys, I'll just be talking to you about what we call physical verification exercise. It's part of our processes here in the Foundation for the Entrepreneurship Program. And this is because through this journey of becoming an alumni of this program and also for the Big Green Program, you need us to get to know you better. We need to know as much of you and your business as possible. Uh, you're going to be seeing a whole lot of surveys, visit from our enumerators beyond your seed capital period. So we want to have the first engagement in getting to know you and your business in your business location and try also to put a physical face to some of the forms and documents that you have sent to us as well. So it's going to be uh, particularly physical in two countries, uh, Nigeria and Kenya, but we would take a, a, a video verification approach in uh, Senegal and South Africa. I will explain these two processes to us in a moment, but I would like to talk to you about why we need to physically verify you. The first reason is for us to verify and uh, the authenticity of the information that you have provided. And then uh, this is important because we don't want to retain any information that is not entirely true that you have provided. It also provides you the opportunity to correct any information that you felt maybe was not properly entered. So where we see that issue of not properly entered information, we can take notes. But mainly we want to authentic we want to authenticate the information that you provided to us from the beginning of your application. So we'll be having enumerators visit or call you and uh, get that those information authenticated. The second thing is that we would like to ensure that those of you participating now at this stage of the pro of the program, just after the business plan verification exercise are eligible to proceed to the other benefits of the program, which is the pitching exercise, and also finally the, the seed capital process. So it's a very crucial part of our process and you have to participate. Anyone that doesn't go through physical verification do not have any chance of moving over to the pitching part of the program. And only those that have been verified and we have ascertained that the information they provided uh, are okay and they're eligible to move over to the next stage of the program will be allowed or shortlisted to move over to the pitcher. And visa pays also get access to other benefits of the program, including the funding. So I'll let Foko just uh, interpret this part and then I'll come back to us on the next slide where we'll talk in more details about what the process really entails. Thank you very, very much. Dans, nous allons vous éclairer un peu sur le processus de vérification physique. Il faut dire que la vérification physique peut se faire véritablement en physique, ça sera le cas au Kenya et au Nigeria, ou bien ça peut se faire par un appel vidéo, ça sera le cas au, en Afrique du Sud et au Sénégal. Donc, il faut dire que cette procédure permet en fait de vérifier ce que vous avez donné comme information, de voir qu'effectivement la personne qu'on a en face et avec qui on interagit est la personne qui doit être éligible pour les différentes phases, que ce soit la phase de présentation ou la phase de fonds d'amorçage, donc de capital de démarrage. Donc, et cette phase est très importante et il est important pour vous. Si par exemple vous avez commis des erreurs au moment de rentrer vos données au départ,
Over to you. Thank you. Uh, Poco, I lost you for a bit. Okay, you're done. All right. Thank you. So we move over to the next slide. The, the next slide I want to talk to us about what physical verification really covers. First of all, I'll go through uh, what physical verification would look like in the different countries. I'll start with Nigeria. For Nigeria, we're doing all complete physical verification. This means that enumerators will be in the field to locate you at your business place. And if your business has not yet started, they would visit you at your homes or your preferred locations where you would eventually locate your business or around the area where you eventually locate your business when you have access to the funding eventually after your training and your pitching and you're selected. So they will be in the field capturing all the information that we need. We'll send an email in regards to that when the time comes. You also get to know the names of those that are verifying you ahead of time so that when they call you, it will not be strange for you to schedule those visits and they will visit you at your place of business. And that's for Nigeria. For Kenya, we're taking the same outlook. Enumerators will be in the field to conduct this verification exercise either visiting your businesses for those who already have existing businesses and for those who are businesses at ideation stage would like to know your neighborhood so that it's easier for us also to, to track and monitor your business afterwards. Now, for those in Kenya, for standard practices in Kenya, you will also be required to come with your documentation to the pitching. If eventually you have been shortlisted to go through to the pitching, you would be required to come with those documents for citing, as it is the regulation for Kenya to have these documents cited in a central location. This is also going to be done in the field by enumerators who would have to capture what you have presented to them and cite it and verify you. In addition to that, you will have to bring those documents to the picking location as well as it is standard practice in Kenya. For South Africa, we are taking a, a video call approach after which you will also be required to come with your documentation or your documents to the the place or uh, the central place where you'll be having your pitching, physical pitching exercise for citing. The same also with uh, Senegal. You will be video verified during a video call on WhatsApp. Schedule that enumerator to call to schedule those calls to ask you a few questions and also authenticate the information you had originally provided from the beginning. And then you go ahead to bring those documents to the pitching venue on the day of your pitching, if you are shortlisted to go through to the pitching. I'll take a pause here. Poco, please go ahead to, to the translation. I'll come back again. Okay, donc maintenant pour entrer plus en détail, nous vous indiquons les quatre processus à suivre. Donc, Vous allez dans les différents pays, c'est-à-dire au Kenya et au Nigeria, être informé de ceux qui viendront vous poser des questions, vérifier si effectivement votre entreprise existe et comment est-ce qu'elle elle fonctionne. Tout au moins, avoir certains éléments pour pouvoir bien renforcer la base de données. Donc, les différentes personnes qui vont venir vous interviewer pourront avoir à vous poser des questions réglementaires, si ce n'est pas dans des questions additionnelles, si c'est nécessaire. Et ils auront aussi à l'occasion, ils pourront aussi à l'occasion vérifier votre statut légal, c'est-à-dire vos statuts, votre registre de commerce et tous les documents de fonctionnement de votre entreprise. Sans oublier enfin que ces personnes aussi vont pouvoir vérifier si vous êtes en règle avec l'administration, la, surtout en termes d'autorisation, pour pouvoir euh, exercer votre activité liée à l'environnement. Donc, pour ceux qui sont au Kenya et au Sénégal, tout ce processus se fera en vidéo, on fera un appel WhatsApp. Et pour cela, on vous préviendra aussi avant et il y aura un calendrier afin que vous ne soyez pas surpris. OK, merci. Over to you. Uh, thanks, Foko. So the last bit of it is now to what it covers. We've dealt with how we conduct this in different countries and now to what it really covers. The first part is that we're going to be cross-referencing the provided information against official records and relevant databases. So we're going to do that on our own part here and checking through the information that you have provided and trying to also run some checks on our own side on some relevant databases. 
the second part is that we're going to now go into the field with the enumerators, either calling you on a video call or physically verifying you depending on the country where you are applying from. And these physical verifications and these visits I had already explained in the my earlier uh, slide. And then we now begin the verification process. For every information you have provided for us at least in the beginning of the program, we're going to now check that against the information you have provided now, the ID cards, the uh, information about your business, information about your location, information about your business registration details. All of that will now start to verify. By the time we are done, we'll also look at some compliance issues for those who have already started their businesses. Are you sticking to those compliance issues within your industry? Is your business what it, you said it is? Do you have an already existing business? What's the nature of that business at this time? Is it actually a green business? These are the things that we'll be looking at. And then uh, when we are done, we would send in our reports and then finally have our shortlist for those that would be going through to the pitching phase of the program. I must mention verification is one of the most crucial parts of the selection process for the Big Green project. So if you would want to go through to the end of this project, you have to be verified. You have to be verified. We have to verify your documentation and ascertain that we are dealing with the right person, you have the right sets of information provided, and that we are able also to use this information to track your business, to track your progress and report on them adequately. Poco, over to you. Oui, globalement, on est revenu sur tout le processus de vérification où on vous prévient qu'on vérifiera pratiquement toutes les informations que vous avez soumises pendant votre candidature, que ce soit votre carte nationale d'identité ou passeport, ça dépend de ce que vous avez soumis comme document. On vérifiera que vous avez effectivement euh, créé votre entreprise et que vous avez les, les, la documentation nécessaire pour être en règle avec l'administration. Est-ce que votre activité euh, a droit à des autorisations Auquel cas, à quel niveau vous trouvez Qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire pour avoir ces autorisations Bref, tout ce que vous avez dit sera vérifié physiquement et les personnes qui vont descendre sur le terrain ou bien qui vont faire les appels vidéo vont authentifier les pièces que vous allez leur montrer. Thank you. Over to you. All right. So I'll hand you back to you, Bokong. Bokong, over to you. All right. Thank you very much, Benjamin. Thank you very much, Foko. And so we're moving to the uh, next line um, on the agenda. And we're almost rounding up again. Um, where uh, we sincerely apologize for the delay in displaying um, a lot of the slides um, our facilitators were speaking to. We will go over them again in detail so you can take your screenshots and have um, proper understanding of what we're, what is expected of you, just so you can keep the dates in mind, very importantly. Once we're done with this overall summary in detail, we'll now take your questions. So if you have questions, if you need clarification on anything, we're happy to take those questions and provide you with all the support and information you require. So I will start again with you know what is required of you as a participant on the Big Green Africa project. Um, so again, you're meant to complete your business management training and to green training if you didn't complete or start um, when we launched the previous one. So it is important, you're expected to do that very importantly if you want to um, be on this program. If you want to be on this program to the end, you need to complete both trainings. Very, very important. Also, um, it is also important to note, so if you completed the business management training, you are expected to um, take the green training, um, develop a business plan, You know, submit your business plan on the 24th, same as um, the participant taking both training is you're expected to develop a business plan. We're going to share the template with you via email. Very, very important that you do this. And it's important to notice as well. So um, have this in mind. Once the training launches tomorrow, we will also tell you the time to start accessing the portal. Also very important. Please start the training. Take every information seriously. Check your emails, your spam, your promotionals for every information we're going to share. And we promise to also give you the right support and ensure that 
every um, every support you need throughout the program is provided to you. Um, again, we need to let you know that um, completing the training is a um, strict condition to be eligible and move to the next phase. Um, so please take it very seriously. There will be no extensions from the dates we have um, shared with you today. So 19th of May, deadline for training. 24th of May, deadline to submit your business plan. And again, business plan for Nigeria and then also pitch video for Nigeria. Pitch video, um, business plan alone for, um, for Senegal, South Africa and Kenya, and then physical pitching for these countries. So it will be very clear again in the emails we're going to send to you. So please check, read thoroughly, read over and over again. If you need further clarification, please send us an email. We'll also give you um, an inquiries email where you can contact us if you have any issues or if you can need um, clarification on anything. Also, you're going to get a, a template to help you develop your business plan and also share your financial projections. Please, it is important that you use this template so that you know you have an opportunity for that business plan and financials to be reviewed by a consultant. So you can get quality feedback, you can get your scoring, and you can get areas of improvement so that your business plan can be more tidier and um, more robust. So I would hand over to my colleague, um, Sandra, who will take the second part of the overall summary in detail, and then we will move over to Q&A. So we'll take your questions. Over to you, Sandra. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ibukun. Um, I know it's been a lot of information. Um, but we hope that uh, you are able to jot down the important dates, the timelines, so that you are on top of everything. So picking up from where Ibukun left, one, uh, again, to reiterate, we encourage you to, to log on every Thursday for these sessions, these information sessions, the masterclass sessions that are very informative and help you develop your business and your financials. Um, to highlight again, uh, business plans from Kenya should focus on the waste management sector. Kenya only should focus on the waste management sector. For the other countries, Nigeria, Senegal, and South Africa, it's open to any industry within the green economy. As I mentioned earlier and has been mentioned, in Kenya we will have a physical in-person pitching, and in Nigeria there will be no physical but we request that everybody uh, submits a two to three video. So again, mark your calendars. 24th May is the deadline. 24th May is the deadline to submit your business plan and your financials, 24th May. Uh, the deadline for submitting your pitching video in Nigeria will be 24th May. So in Nigeria, you're submitting your business plan, your financials, as well as your pitching video. Again, to reiterate, um, Nigeria, there will be no in-person. Your pitching video is what you will sell your business idea to us in two to three minutes. So imagine you are in front of a panel sharing your idea. That's what your pitching video should be telling us about. Um, and then the final uh, notice is that all the business plans that we receive will be reviewed by an independent uh, third-party consultant. I will they review them for quality, um, viability of the business, and provide feedback to all those that submit business plans. The business plans will be reviewed by an independent uh, third-party company. So I hand over to Foco for the uh, translation. Over to you. Thank you very much, Sandra. Donc, pour finir, on va faire un aperçu global de tout ce qu'on vous a dit aujourd'hui. Donc, comme première recommandation, on vous signale que tous ceux qui ont eu à faire la formation en gestion d'affaires avant le 11 février sont automatiquement éligibles pour suivre la formation en gestion d'affaires verte. Donc, pour ceux qui n'ont pas eu à faire la première formation sur la, la formation générale en gestion d'affaires, on leur demande de le faire et c'est lorsqu'ils vont finir de faire cette première formation qu'ils seront automatiquement redirigés 
vers la deuxième formation qui va tenir sur l'entrepreneuriat vert. Donc, il est aussi important que, de savoir que ces deux formations doivent être faites et que vous devez avoir de bons résultats pour être éligible à la prochaine phase. Et dans cette prochaine phase, on vous donnera l'opportunité de présenter vos business plans et vos business plans seront revus. Vous devez suivre vos formations. Avant le 19 mai, tout doit être fini et vos business plans doivent être revus. Donc, il est aussi important de savoir que pour faire le business plan et vos analyses financières, vos projections financières, vous, serez, vous aurez des canevas qui vont vous aider à pouvoir faire des travaux de rédaction cohérente. On vous encourage aussi à suivre les masterclass afin de ne pouvoir rien rater de tout ce qu'on dit et surtout d'améliorer vos compétences. Donc, pour ce qui concerne la compétition en elle-même, le business plan que vous devez faire pour ceux qui sont au Kenya, vos, vos business plans doivent être focalisés sur la gestion des déchets. Et pour ceux qui sont au Nigeria, au Sénégal et en Afrique du Sud, vous pouvez faire des business plans sur l'économie verte en général. Donc, un dernier rappel, le délai pour pouvoir soumettre vos business plans et vos plans financiers, c'est le 24 mai. Donc, pour ceux qui sont au Nigeria, ils ont aussi jusqu'au 24 mai 2024 pour soumettre leur pitch vidéo. Parce que il n'y aura pas de pitch physique au Nigeria. On le signale bien, ça sera uniquement en vidéo pour le Nigeria. Donc, voilà ce qu'on pouvait vous dire. Et vous devez savoir que vos business plans vont être revus par des consultants indépendants en tiers partie qui vont être vraiment transparents et vous aurez des business plans, des feedbacks de qualité. Donc, merci pour vous avoir suivi aujourd'hui. On va tuer au niveau pour nous. Thank you very much, Foko. Thank you um, for that translation. Um, so we'll move to the next segment. Again, we will start, you know, scrolling over the um, slides again and just spending some time there so you can take screenshots. Because um, when we're going through um, the slides um, with the support of our facilitators, we we're able to share or change some slides very quickly. So we'll go over the slides again, just to give you another opportunity to take screenshots. If you want to take pictures, if you want to note some certain dates, um, you'll have that opportunity. So we will move to um, Q&A, where we're now answering a lot of questions you have in the chat section. And we'll, we'll be giving you the right answers or provide clarity um, where it's needed. So we um, started receiving some questions. So it will work like this. So I would take four questions and then hand over to Sandra to also take another four questions. So we would keep going like that until you know we don't have any questions to take. And if we're unable to answer all your questions today, we will note the other question and put it in a frequently asked question um, document and we would attach and send you. So you can always refer to that document if you need clarity on anything. So I will start with the first question that we have received. So what is the age requirement um, for participants? It is 18 to 35, very important. And and this is a very critical criteria to be part of the Big Green um, um, Africa program. So it is very critical, 18 to 35. So for anyone asking, that is the um, age um, criteria and it's also um, the age requirement for anyone who wants to be part of the training program. And so another question, which pretty much ties to this is, um, who was invited to this session and why did some people not get the invite? Again, due to the age requirement, um, some people were dropped off from the program, which means they were not eligible to be part of the second phase of this program. So the age requirement was very critical for us. And, um, and some of your friends or some of your colleagues or some of some people you know that took the first training are not um, or we're not informed about the second phase is mainly because of the age requirement. So I hope I've been able to provide clarity and answer that question. So we'll move to the next um, question that has come up. 
Um, so how can one um, do the first training? Is there a link or site shared? Again, the email communication we're sending later today is so detailed, very detailed. And we'll provide you with every information you need to know. So there is a link in that email, which is the link to the training portal. So again, we had mentioned earlier that there are two segments of people taking this training. So there's this, the first segment are people who did not complete or start the business management training. So for people in that bucket, you are required to redo the business management training. And if you didn't start at all, start the business management training and complete it. Once you're done, you're giving access to the green training. So when you log into the platform, again, you're expected to change your password. So put in your email address, your valid email address that you used at the point of application, sign in and click on forgot password. Once you do that, it would we direct you to verify your email. Once you're able to verify your email, it takes you back to the portal to sign in. Once you sign in, click on start on training, click on start your learning. You will see two trainings. You will see the business management training and the green training. But you must complete the business management training first before you get access to the green training. So that's how you're able to access. These are for people who did not complete the business management training and uh, not start at all. The second segment is, these are people that completed the business management training that ended on the 11th of February. You're expected to do the same thing. Click on the link to the portal. Again, sign in, change your password, put in your valid email address, you know, click on forgot password. It will redirect you to your email to verify. Once you verify that email, it redirects you back to the portal where you now need to sign in once you sign in, please click on training, start learning, and then you would see the green training. You would also see the business management training, but it will show completed because you have completed that training. So you don't need to redo it. So you move straight to the green training. So I hope I've been able to clarify that. So the link in the email that you would receive much later today will link you to the platform, to the portal, the learning portal to take your training. So if you fall in any of these buckets, you know what you're meant to do. And it's also detailed in the email. So I hope um, I've been able to answer your question. And then the next um, question, again, is can someone focus on waste management, even if it's Nigeria? So again, the answer is yes, because waste management is part of the green economy. However, waste management is specifically for Kenya, but doesn't mean that if you're in Nigeria and you want to do waste management, or if you're in Senegal, or if you're in South Africa and you want to do waste management, you can't. You can do that. You can do recycling. You can do every other subsector within the green economy. But Kenya is very specific. It is waste management. So it means that your business must be in waste management or your existing business must be in waste management. Your business plan must be developed in waste management. So if you're from Kenya and you haven't decided on the subsector, please start your training, start looking to pivot to waste management. So Kenya is mainly focused on waste management. Nigeria, Senegal, and South Africa is focused on any of the green economy sector, which means it could be waste management, it could be recycling, it could be land transportation, it could be, you know, it, it could be any of the of the um, uh, subsectors within the green economy space. So I hope I've been able to answer that. So I will hand over now to Sandra to, you know, take another four questions from um, our participants um, and then I would come back again to you and then we'll do, take it like that. So I'll hand over to Foko. Foko, I hope you're able to or should I read out the questions again? Would that help, um, no. Foko? It's good. It's good. Thank you. Okay. okay over then, to you, Foko. Il y a eu une série de questions. La première question, c'était sur l'âge. Et c'est clair que pour cette deuxième fois, on a retenu les personnes qui ont entre 18 et 35 ans. Donc l'âge pour, pour arriver à cette étape, c'est 18 à 35 ans. Donc, on a aussi noté que, il faut aussi noter que les personnes qui ont déjà eu, il y a deux types de personnes. Il y a ceux qui ont déjà eu à suivre cette formation et ceux qui n'ont pas, je veux dire la formation générale en gestion d'affaires et ceux qui n'ont pas encore suivi. Pour ceux qui l'ont déjà suivi, 
ils vont automatiquement être invités à suivre, à avoir accès à la formation sur le business vert. Mais pour ceux qui n'ont pas encore suivi, on vous prie de pouvoir suivre cette formation et la finir et automatiquement vous serez aussi redirigé vers la formation sur le business vert. Donc, pour répéter, la première chose, c'est de faire la formation générale en gestion d'affaires et la deuxième, c'est la formation en business vert. Donc, il peut aussi arriver que vous ayez à modifier votre mot de passe pour vous reconnecter au compte parce qu'on va vous envoyer des emails. À ce moment-là, on va vous demander de modifier votre mot de passe, de confirmer votre compte en envoyant la bonne adresse email, l'adresse email avec laquelle vous avez soumissionné au programme. Et dans cette adresse email, on vous enverra le lien pour vous reconnecter à la plateforme. OK, beaucoup de plus. The last question was. Hello, Coco, can you hear me? What's your yes, question? The last question, the last question was. So the last question was around um, um, people, how they would access um, the business management training. So how would they access it? So we told them that there's going to be a link in the email we're sending today, later today. So they will be able to click on the link to access the training portal. And the email we're sending also breaks down um, what is required of them if you're in the different bucket. So if you've not taken the business management training or completed it, you'll be allowed to take it and then take the green training. If you have completed the green, um, the business management training, then you are allowed to now take the green training and also develop your business plan. So both, both entrepreneurs in the different buckets can take the trainings that are accessible to them and also develop a business plan and an opportunity to write a business plan. But the link okay. to the portal will be embedded in the email that they will get later today. Okay, we oui, okay. Donc, oui, oh, j'avais déjà expliqué ce qu'elle vient de dire. Donc, vous allez recevoir un email aujourd'hui avec les différents liens pour les différentes formations. Donc, l'autre question qui avait été posée, c'est la question de savoir est-ce qu'on peut être okay, euh, au Nigeria, par exemple, et faire dans le recyclage des déchets? Donc, la réponse, c'est que c'est oui, parce que le recyclage des déchets rentre bel et bien dans le business lié à l'environnement, dans le business écologique. Donc, c'est vrai que pour ceux qui sont au Kenya, on va les limiter uniquement au business sur le traitement des déchets, sur la gestion des déchets. Mais pour ceux qui sont au, pardon, au Nigeria, en Afrique du Sud et au Sénégal, vous pouvez faire toutes sortes de business liés à l'environnement. OK, on va toujours beaucoup. All right, thank you very much. So I'll hand over to Sandra now. So Sandra will take the second part of the Q&A and then we'll come back to me. Thank you. What about you, Sandra? Uh, thank you, Bukun. I was going to highlight that there may be some people who have not received the email because we had several users who registered with the same email address. And what we are going to do is um, send you an SMS just to get your unique email address. So there may be some who have completed, who are between um, the age bracket but we had several friends who were registering with one email address. So if you're in that uh, category, um, tomorrow before Friday, um, you will receive an SMS and our request is that you give us your unique email address. Uh, remember you cannot register with um, your friend or colleague's email address. You must have your own unique email address. <clears throat> Um, also to highlight again that um, the age bracket is 18 to 35 um, that are going to the next uh, stage. Um, and this, if you're outside of this bracket, you are um, ineligible to participate in the business planning submission as well as the financials. Um, or those who are requesting access to the first a part of the training, the business management. Um, the link will be shared, as Ibukun has mentioned, in an email that is going out today. There will be a link shared to um, the training in the email that is going out this evening. Um, again, I would like to reiterate, please check your spam folder, because we've had many people um, asking about that email communication, only to find it in the spam 
or the uh, junk folder. I think those are the ones that I can see, Bukun. I hand over to uh, Foko to do the translation. All right, over to you, Foko. Thank you. Oui, on est revenu pratiquement sur les mêmes informations qui ont été dites. Toujours est-il qu'il y en a qui ont des soucis avec leur email. Donc, Sandra nous annonce que euh, d'ici là, on va vous envoyer par SMS des consignes pour pouvoir vous reconnecter à travers des, vos adresses email. Donc, il y, a des, il y en a qui sont qui vont se reconnaître dans, dans ce cas-là. Et pour finir, elle précise que vous devez regarder dans vos spams. Ceux qui disent qu'ils n'ont pas reçu les mails, regardez dans vos spams, on vous a envoyé des emails dans vos spams, dans vos boîtes de mails indésirables ou promotionnelles. Parce qu'on peut vous envoyer les emails et puis ça part, votre boîte qui met tri. Donc, veuillez regarder régulièrement vos emails, vos spams, parce que la, la fondation communique avec vous. Ok, thank you. Au revoir, Joe Sandra. Thank you, Foko. I think we've addressed the questions in the chat. Um, maybe a hand over to you, Bukun. Uh, looking at the time, it's after just after seven. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you very much, Sandra. Um, we've been able to address a lot of the questions. So most of the questions are repetitive, asking the same questions we have addressed. And um, I will just implore everyone um, to look out for their emails. Once we send the emails tonight, um, please check. Um, so maybe you just want to wait till later to check um, check your spam, again, check your promotional, because sometimes those emails just drop in those uh, mailboxes so that you can get all the information you need. We would also detail in that email the time um, tomorrow when you'll be able to access the training. Um, so very importantly, we will ensure that the communication going out is um, informative and as um, all, all the requirements information on the requirement, what is expected of you, and how you can access the training, the criteria, everything will be detailed in the email. And just to mention or um, buttress what um, Sandra spoke to, we have some participants who um, have provided invalid email addresses. So we would send you the um, uh, a communication via text message so you can provide your valid email and we can send the email to you so please also, if you see any text message from um, from us, the Begrim team, please ensure to respond and provide information that has been required of you so that um, you're not left out and you're carried along as we start, um, start and launch the program. Um, so I think we're, except there are any other questions, I don't think there are any other questions. So again, we know it's not easy live streaming um, for a long time, most especially in, in Africa. So um, again, thank you to all our facilitators. Thank you, Manuela. Thank you, Mr. Joshua. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you, Sandra, um, Chiemezie, and Adora, who have been supporting us from back end. And also, thank you, Foco, for the translations. We really appreciate it. And so please, everyone, thank you for joining. And we hope this session was informative and um, you were able to get all the information you require and clarification, which is um, most important. Um, so we will be having our master classes next week and we'll be sending an email. I would you know, encourage everyone to please take advantage of all the master classes and information sessions and that would run whilst we're taking the training. It will be very good for you to join because you get a lot of information, learning, skill sets, um, from these sessions that would help you um, whilst you're taking your training and while you're trying to develop your business plan. So please ensure to join those sessions. And if you're unable to join while we're live streaming, you can always go back to YouTube to watch and get all the information that is required. So thank you, everyone. We really appreciate you for your time. And we look forward to having you start your training tomorrow once we launch. Thank you very much and have an amazing evening. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.